In today's short video, we'll take a look at the supporting tool you can use as a guiding reference uh, when studying NFAs and DFAs. The tool is called Regexp Tree. It's a pretty popular module, which is used as a dependency uh, for several syntactic analysis toolkits related to regular expressions. Regexp Tree is a generic regular expression processor, uh, which includes parser, transformer, optimizer, and interpreter APIs. And uh, specifically the later, that is interpreter, is the part which relates to our course of NFAs and DFAs. So let's take a look how we can use this tool to build NFAs and DFA tables. The tool can be installed from NPM, uh, which is a popular package manager for Node.js. If we want to use the tool as a module, we should install directly the regex tree package. However, here I'd like to show how we can use a command line interface. Right for this, we install the tool using the following command, uh, that is regex tree CLI module. And once it's installed, we can use it for different manipulations with regular expressions. So let's take our example of the union operation, uh, that is A or B pattern and uh, try to introspect it using regexp tree. In the previous lecture, we discussed the details how to build an NFA table for this pattern, and uh, the actual code implementation for this table construction was left for you as an assignment. And uh, regexp tree can be used as a validator whether we construct the table correctly. So we can pass the regular expression, and uh, it shows us the representation of this expression in the view of the abstract syntax tree, or AST for short. The AST is represented as a JSON structure here, right? So here we see that the expression is of type disjunction, uh, and recall that disjunction is alternative name for union operation, and uh, which has left hand side and right hand side, and uh, both of which are just simple characters, A and B in this case. As we mentioned earlier, we can use this AST representation for direct interpretation, for example, building a recursive descent interpreter. But let's see how this tool can also work uh, with finite automata, which we study in this class. So let's take a look how we can obtain an NFA table for this expression. For this, we just pass the table option and uh, specify which table we want to analyze. So we're passing the NFA value, and uh, the tool shows us representation of this expression already in the view of the corresponding table. As we can see, it also shows which state is starting and which is accepting. Uh, we also see this epsilon closure column, which we learned in details in the previous lecture. And uh, if we compare this table with the one we obtained manually uh, in the previous video, we see it's exactly the same as from our calculations. So once again, this package can be used as a supporting tool and a validation uh, for your assignments. In the next lecture, we'll be discussing already DFA tables and how to construct them by converting from the NFA tables. And uh, in regex tree tool, we can also easily introspect a DFA table for this expression by just passing the DFA value. As we see, the tool outputs both original and optimized DFA table. Uh, but again, we'll be touching DFAs uh, in detail in the next video. In addition, the regex tree has also other submodules. For example, the optimizer module can transform our original expression to a more optimized one. Let's take a look. So if we pass, for example, a character class for numbers, uh, 0 to 9, uh, we can obtain semantically the same expression, but in shorter syntax. And uh, this can produce really shorter and more elegant patterns. Another example, a character class for numbers, letters, and underscore character uh, repeated one or more times. As we can see, it can be represented as simple as uh, slash w plus. To reiterate, we can use this tool in many ways as an optimizing compiler for regular expressions, uh, as a uh, regex parser, transformer, and NFAs and DFAs builder. In addition, the tool is open source, so you can take a look at the actual implementation of the NFA and DFA builders, uh, including the basic NFA fragments, such as character, epsilon machines, etc., uh, which we have discussed previously in this course, and uh, which are the basic elements for regular expressions. Okay, in the next lecture, we're going to talk about TFA table construction, and again, we'll be checking our results with the results from the regexp3 tool. Thanks, and see you in the class.